Well, this whole chapter is going to be all about creating, saving, and using templates. We're going to look at the different ways to create new documents, starting with new blank documents like the one you see here on my screen. But of course, now that we have some new layout views like publishing layout view and notebook layout view, there are different options when it comes to creating new blank documents. We'll look at each of those options in this lesson. We'll also look at creating documents that give you a big head start using templates. So with templates in Word, you can actually have placeholders, sample text that you can replace, all kinds of things to give you a huge head start to save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. Of course, you can create your own templates as well. We'll look at that in this chapter, as well as the various options for saving your documents and saving templates. So let's start with just creating what you see here on my screen, a new blank document. It's what most people are used to. If you've used Word over the years, creating a new blank document gives you a blank page, a flashing cursor, and you're ready to type. You've got all of the defaults set up for you, including margins at the top and at the left and the right, as well as the bottom. And then, of course, your standard toolbar will give you the options you're used to seeing when working in the print layout view. And if you've got the formatting toolbar on as well, you'll see those options down below. The formatting palette over here on the right hand side is context sensitive. So depending on the layout view you're in, well, you'll see different options over here on the right hand side as you'll see as we move through the lessons in this chapter. So how did I get to this? Well, pretty simple actually. There are different ways to create new blank documents. Let's start by closing up everything we have open on our screen. So starting with nothing, we can go up to the file menu and you'll notice right near the top is new blank document. And the keyboard shortcut is Command N. So if I was to hold down Command and press the letter N as in new right now, I get exactly what I just closed up. I can also click new blank document. So there we go. There's the defaults that we just talked about. My new blank page. I'm ready to start typing. Now you'll notice that when we do have a document open, we also have a new button up here. The new button, by clicking it, will create a new blank document just like what you see here in print layout view. But you'll notice that the new button also has a little drop down arrow just to the right of it. If we click the button itself, we get a new blank document in print layout view. But if we click the drop down, we get to choose. So right at the top is new blank document like what we have right now in print layout view. But we can also go directly to notebook layout view as well as publishing layout view right from the new drop down. We're not going to do that quite yet. But just so you know, there are different options for creating what you see here on my screen, a new blank document. In the next lesson, we'll look at creating a new blank document in Notebook Layout View.